Hello friends, my name is Iman and here is Iman Global YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you for supporting this channel. First, let's look at a preview. In this tutorial, we will animate the still image and create a short video loop. We will use the Loop Flow plugin in Adobe After Effects for this tutorial. Let me give you a brief explanation about this plugin. Loop Flow is an After Effects plugin that allows animating still images into looped videos. Using two masks you can determine the flow area and direction. Use it to animate continuous fluid motion like flowing water, billowing smoke, flying particles and fire. You can also animate hair, fur, fabrics or patterns, your imagination is the limit. Animation is based on sliding an area of the image along a mesh generated between the two masks. You can easily loop the animation. You can find out more about the Loop Flow plugin at scripts.com. Let's start this tutorial. First I import a photo into After Effects. By dropping the photo in the timeline space, a composition is created based on its dimensions. Then, by activating the Region of Interest button, we change the dimensions of the composition. We need two masks to animate this photo. Draw two masks with the pen tool. The range between these two masks will be animated. The plugin automatically animates the area between the two masks. Now apply the plugin to the layer. In this case, we put both masks in the plugin list. To make the view look real, we need to change and edit the masks. We change the position of the masks to achieve a beautiful and realistic view. We can also create an animation for the lower part of this photo. For this purpose, we put two more masks on the photo so that the area between these two masks is animated by the plugin. We create two new masks. We change the color of the masks to see them better. After this we can edit them more easily. We know that the plugin has only two places for the mask. But what is the solution? The solution is simple. We need to make a copy of the plugin in the effect control section. Then we can add two more masks. 
Now we can add the two masks at the bottom of the photo to the new version of the plugin. We change the location of the vortices and masks to achieve the desired result. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe, comment, like and share this video with friends. Stay tuned for new tutorials. We have several new tutorials every week. Have a nice day.